Mike Moore Media, the first place to hear Rockingham County news and information. On this edition of Rise Up Reedsville, Judy Yarborough, City Marketer. Judy has a list of holiday events to tell us about we need to put on our calendar. But first, uh, let's take a look back. How did Halloween go, Judy, at J.C. Park? You know, Mike, that event was a huge success. We weren't sure how that was going to go. You know, our poor kids have been, they've lost so much. You know, their whole summer, their yeah. most of, a lot of their sports programs, you know, a lot of their activities. So we wanted to do something special for them, and I think that it was a huge success. You know, we had the city staff that came out there. They set up their little booths and gave out the candy, and then we had some community members that also came out and set up the booth. Um, It started at 6 o'clock. People were lined up. And sadly, um, some people sat in line for two hours and did not get in. Mm. So it was, uh, you know, there was a flip side to it for sure, but it was a huge success. And I think the kids had a great time, which is what it was really all about. Well, you know, that's great. And I've heard some good things about it. So it's good to get your report as well. But people are thinking, being forced to think outside of the box and just doing some really creative things, aren't they, because of the pandemic? You're absolutely correct. I mean, you know, it's not uh, business as usual, so Mm. to speak. And so you really do have to get out of the box and look at the whole picture and think, what can we do different? And we've got several things that are coming up that are completely outside the box. Okay, well, I'm ready to take notes. Uh, Let's start with the Christmas parade. Always popular, always a favorite. That's right. And so the Christmas parade is done every year. Um, A lot of people think that the city of Reedsville puts that together or the chamber, but we do not. That parade is put together by WGSR uh, TV, Star News. They do that parade. They sign everybody up. They organize it. And Charles came to us and said, hey, you know, we our parade is a big parade. It's a big deal. And we certainly hate to not do something this year. So we got together with Charles and the TRC committee, which is the committee that reviews um, applications to close streets and that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And we kind of hashed it out and said, what can we do? And their idea was to do a drive-through parade. Now, this is totally different than what we've ever done before or what they've ever done before. There will be no floats in this parade. People will be um, asked to decorate their cars in the Christmas style, their trucks, um, their tractors, whatever, and um, come out and the parade will start. The lineup, it'll be, again, will be completely different. The lineup is going to start back behind City Hall and the police department in that parking lot back there. Mm -hmm. Then they will come out and they will go around um, the sculpture and go down Scale Street, and then they'll be able to be filmed at the R there by the station. And I'm sure he's going to stop people and talk to them and that kind of thing. And then the cars will just disperse on out. And by the time they get down to um, William Street or down to Gil, I'm not Gilmer, but Settle Street, you know, they'll disperse out. Mm -hmm. So it'll be different than it's ever been before. But it's an opportunity for the community to come out. Now, the community, I should say, come out. It is not a spectator's. It will be filmed live so you can watch it on the television station and of course they'll be rebroadcasting it but you will not be able to be a spectator there will be no spectators Mm -hmm. okay and what's the date on that judy the date on that is december the 6th and it starts promptly at 5 p.m okay i'm writing it down well that gives us a little flavor of christmas though for sure it does it does and Um, His title for all this is Saving Christmas, Mm -hmm. I guess the best we can. And so the other thing we thought, you know, we always do, the RDC downtown normally does a huge event at Christmas with the tree lighting. Mm -hmm. That is a premier event. Everybody looks forward to it. The kids love it. They have the snow down there where they have the sledding, Santa, you know, the whole nine yards, that the they roast marshmallows, all of that. Yeah. And so we're not going to be able to do that this year. Based on these mandates, we just can't do it. But on December the 4th at 6 p.m., we will be filming a tree lighting. And it will be live downtown. Again, Star News will be broadcasting it. WGSR will be broadcasting it. Diane is going to be broadcasting it live on Facebook for the Reedsville Chamber of Commerce. Mm-hmm. 
we will have some activities down there with the mayor lighting the tree. We've got Santa who's going to come and talk to the kids. We've got an um, and the kids on TV talk to them through the television. And then we'll have an elf down there. Um, we've got Veronica Jones is going to come in and do some Christmas music and play. She's got a beautiful voice. And then also we've got uh, Academy of Dance will come in with a very small group of dancers who will perform. So it's going to be about a 30-minute show um, that, again, will be broadcast and live. And, again, no spectators, but it's a great way to, you know, get us all in the spirit. Oh, that sounds nice. Okay, so the tree lighting there, December 4th at 6 p.m., Right. All right. Star News has got it covered. That's that's great. They do. That's great. Which yeah. is great. I'm I'm excited about that. It again. It you know gives the the kids something to do and something to see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I've been hearing about uh, Story Walk, but for those that don't know, what is that? So that is like the coolest idea that RDC is doing downtown. So they've done it in conjunction with the library and merchants downtown. There are two books. Um, what they have done is they have put together a little story walk, and the first book in November is called Gracias, uh, Gracias or Thanks. The book in December is called When Winter Comes. And you can go to the library. You get a bookmark that's called the Scale Street Story Walk. It will give you information about the story walk, and then when you flip it over, there's a map. And you start at the library, and you go down Scale Street, you follow the map, and it will show you what buildings to go to. And the pages of the books have been blown up so that you can take your kids and read the book and take a walk at the same time. This is so cool. What a neat idea. It it is a really, really cool idea. So um, never been done before here, and it's just a great way, again, to get the kids out, um, have them read a book, um, and they can, you know, because it's blown up life size, so they can actually read the pages right there in the windows, mm-hmm. and they just go from store to store, cross the street, come back up, and they end back up at the library. They can turn in their book card. You fill out the back of it, turn that in, and then at the end of November and the end of December, they will be giving away copies of the book. Uh, this is a win-win for everyone, it sounds like. It is. Great way to get the kids out, get some exercise, give them something to do, and for them to read a book. Mm-hmm. Scale Street Story Walk, only in downtown Reedsville, ladies and gentlemen. Now, another Absolutely. first, too, I believe, is Holiday Hunt. Is this brand new? Holiday Hunt um, Holiday Hunt is brand new. Mm-hmm. We have done scavenger hunts, so to speak, in the past at our festival. And, again, didn't get to have that this year. Yeah. So um, this Holiday Hunt is another way for people to get out, um, visit, visit our merchants, and, of course, shop downtown, which is what it's all about. Mm-hmm. So there are 14 different participating merchants. You can go into the merchant, ask for a holiday hunt card. If you go to 10 of the participating merchants and you get them to give you a stamp on that card from the 10, don't have to spend anything. Of course, we want you to, but you don't have to. And if you do that and then turn in your card, you turn in your card at the water department downtown at the back of um, City Hall building where you pay your water bill, Mm -hmm. turn it in there, and then they're at um, they're going to be doing a huge drawing, three people for grand prizes. Well, for prizes, for the there's two different segments to this. So on the first segment where you don't buy anything but you just turn in the card, there's three huge candy trees that are prizes. And these things are really cool. They're kind of like um, – if you go to, you probably don't go to them, but if you ever go to a baby shelter, they'll have this thing called a diaper tree. Mm-hmm. And it's like all this really cool stuff, and it's, it looks like a big cake is what it looks like. Mm-hmm. Well, this is a candy tree, and so it's nothing but candy. It's awesome. So the kids will love that. Mm-hmm. And there's three of those. And then if you spend $35 um, altogether at any of the merchants downtown or a combination of the merchants downtown, you have them stamp your card and sign the card. Then you're entered for a drawing, and the grand prize for that is two tickets to the grand opening of Reedsville Showcase. Oh, wow. That is great. Yeah, so that'll be a great – we don't know what the concert will be yet, and we don't know the date of that, but you will get two tickets to the grand opening. You know, that doesn't matter. I I don't care about those unknowns (laughs) just to be a part of that event. (laughs) Sure. I agree. Okay. Yeah. All righty, so good things happening in Reedsville. Uh, Now, understand, is this breaking news you're about to tell us about a grant? 
it is breaking news, and it is something that we are so stoked about. Mm. We have we have really we're really excited about this. So we um, the city applied for a grant, and you know we work with a, a company on larger grants that that write the grants for us because grants. If you've ever written one or been involved in one, are a lot of work, a lot of homework, and then there's a lot of management and that kind of thing. And you really have to know what you're doing when you write a grant. You, you've you know, got, we've a, got a few. You, you've got to be a professional grant writer now, haven't you? Almost. You really do. Yeah. And we've got a couple of them here in Rockingham County. Um, mm-hmm. But this company has helped us with many of these community. Um, De- development block grants, and that's what this grant is. So we have received um, a six hundred thousand dollar grant through the Community Development Block Grant CV, and that stands for coronavirus. Mm-hmm. Um, this six hundred thousand dollars, and again, you know, we were talking a few minutes ago about having to think outside the box. Yeah. So when we they came to us and said. There's this money out here. Let's come up with some ideas to apply for it. We submitted several ideas. They came back, and this was the idea they said go with. So we were awarded the $600,000 to do an expansion at the penthouse. Oh, wow. So we are so excited about that. Now, what entails with that is we will be building a separate building um, that will be located on the penthouse grounds. Um, We're looking at an area back behind the gazebo. That building will be able to be used for many different things. But, of course, you know, we are a wedding venue, so it will be used for that. But the big thing about this, with this COVID money that we are receiving, we will be offering um, free Wi-Fi in our parking lot um, at certain times um, during the week, during the day, so that kids can come out um, in the parking lot can access their schooling, people that are working from home, if they need that Internet connection, they can come out. Um, They can be in the parking lot and utilize that free Wi-Fi. The other thing that we have done is we are partnering with Annie Penn and Cone Health. They will be coming out and doing a lot of programs for the community here, and they will be like they'll bring their mammogram machine um, and things like that. We've also partnered with the James Austin Health Center, and they will be bringing their COVID testing van so that you can get COVID testing. So there will be a lot of different components with this grant that we will be utilizing things for the health and benefit of our community and especially the low-income community. Ah, this is wonderful news. This is almost the uh, the headline in today's program, $600,000 grant for that expansion project at the penthouse. Congratulations. Well, thank you. We are truly very, very excited about this. You know, this is something we've wanted to do an expansion at the house for a long time. Um, We're hoping that when this building is complete, that we'll be able to seat 250 in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. So it will be great. It will be awesome. It will be a great addition. Well, thank you for sharing that uh, wonderful news with us today on this podcast. I appreciate it, Judy. Good You're things. Welcome. Good things continue to happen uh, in Reedsville and there at the penthouse. And uh, we've got all the holiday events coming up. And I'm, I know you're awfully busy, but I appreciate you taking time to share all of the good things with us. Thank you, Judy Yarborough. Well, thank you, Mike. It was good to talk to you. Have a wonderful weekend, and we'll uh, we'll see you uh, for some of the events soon. Okay, great. Thank okay, you, Mike. Bye. That's our Rise Up Reedsville program. Judy Yarborough is city marketer for Reedsville. Let me direct you to the website for some good information there at riseupreedsville.com.